Lion King. And so for me, I think that it could be, we talked about Simba, I think before, but in this one, talking about how his in healthy relationships, part one, we talked about Simba. Yeah. Part one. We talked okay. about Simba. Okay. For me, I wanted to talk about Simba with grief because as we, as we talked about in the healthy relationship and as I kind of was rewatching scenes, uh, realizing that he gets, his trauma is so big, he can't go near it. Right. So when the scene happens, when Mufasa passes away and he runs and we see him, you know, end up in the paradise with Timon and Pumbaa, yeah. right? Um, I feel like that there's like a, a moment that happens where he he leaves behind the grief and he ends up in paradise. Yeah. Right? Like that that image to me, it, it didn't sit well. Right? Because it's like this this fantasy that if we just get away from it, if we just ignore it, if we just find a place that looks happier and perfect that we won't have to deal with it but i love right as we continue watching the story it, it like you know the 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 grief infiltrates when nala shows up yeah okay so to really paint the picture right like in this paradise predators and prey all get along they eat you know the non the only non-sentient animal which are bugs yeah right so like i think they really leaned into paradise um Actually, this doesn't sound really bad. I don't know what they named that place. I don't know if there is a name for it. I don't think there's a name in the movie. Is there? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Um, but so he's in paradise, and he grows up, and he ages in paradise, and he's ambivalent, and he's happy-go-lucky. Um, and then Nala shows up, and immediately he gets sucked back into Reality it. hits in. Yes. Literally. Rafiki hits in. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was loud. Um, I forgot about that. But yeah, you know, he is now forced to address all these things that he has left to the wayside. And I think that kind of is like thematically um, like with therapy is I think that clients like the dams that they have built sometimes break. And so they can't they don't have access to what's going on because it happened so long ago. Well, it makes me think of even beyond just like dealing with grief, like we're looking at grief and death and our response to it. Right. Because yeah. grief and death is a trauma. Yeah. Right, which I hate using therapy words, but it's a trauma um, that we all have to experience at some point in our life. Yeah, right. And that if if I if I take a more um, global view of trauma, yeah, what do we like to do? We like to escape and go to the place that is all, you know, rainforest and waterfalls, and it's beautiful and it's paradise, and I don't need to deal with my trauma. And I think that we all do that, right? And it's just a matter of what that escape mechanism is and yes. that if we don't deal with trauma, if we don't deal with grief, if we don't deal with these things, mm-hmm. just like Nala, it's going to sneak up and eat one of our friends. Try to. Depends on how ambivalent we are. Yeah. 